Hey there everybody, today we're going to do something different. We're going to go down to the local park and I'm going to set up and give you guys a first look at this tarp tent, DW Moment uh, tent. Eagle Eyed uh, amongst you also notice uh, this new bike that, uh, that just came in for review. It is a Crest bike and it's got a lot of new new. Interesting bag support in the front as well as the new Ultra Dynamico tires. Uh, so if you're interested in more in-depth reviews of this stuff, be sure to subscribe. Uh, we've got some pretty cool things coming down the pipeline. But first, let's get to the park and uh, set up this tent. So in this bag, I've got not only the tent, but the tripod and uh, some filming gear. So while I'm heading down there, I'm also uh, taking mental notes on how the bike rides with a uh, front load. For such an ungainly looking setup, it rides really well. Front end is not flopping, the bag is pretty secure, and uh, I'm pretty impressed by the capacity of this bag. Way more than you would get from a traditional bike packing handlebar roll. But enough about the bag, let's get this tent set up. Okay guys, this is the tent that we're gonna set today. It is the tarp tent. Uh, DW Moment it is a single person tent. Over the last couple of years, Laura and I have been using the Double Rainbow, which is a awesome uh, two person tent by Tarp Tent. I wanted to give the single person uh, tent a review. Uh, so on our scales, it weighs in at about 2.6 pounds and it is a Tarp Tent. So that means that uh, in order for you to set it up, you do have to stake it out. That's what provides tension, uh, gives a tent form. But they do have an additional pole that you can use uh, to make this a freestanding tent. For the purposes of this video, I'm not gonna uh, talk about the pole, but just set up as a tarp tent. I'm gonna switch between the chassis cam and this one, give you guys a uh, first person POV of how to set this up. Should be fairly easy. I've watched the videos, read the manual. Uh, let's see Let's see how I do. Uh, what's cool about this is that it does promise fairly easy setup. You've got basically two uh, tent stakes. That's all it comes with, although you can use additional ones to make it more taut. Set those aside and the main uh, arch pole. Set this aside real quick. I'm going to take uh, stake number one and just put it on the ground here as far as I can get it. <laughs> Set the spreaders. We're going to assemble the, uh, the one and only pole here through this uh, yellow pathway. Slides in pretty easily. Uh, there should be a little sleeve catch here. So again, this is only uh, my second time <laughs> putting this tent up. Off to the other side, there should be another sleeve catch. Right. You can see these uh, spreader bars. This is what helps give it sh gives it shape. So again, just drill it into the guy line, and then you have a couple of tensioners that that will help you tension the ridge and the perimeter over here. So we'll do that. One thing to note about tarp tents is uh, they do take a little uh, fidgeting with to get them just right. So don't be afraid to move things around. It's looking pretty good. So over here, we've got a zippered entrance. And you'll notice that there is a nice mesh in here. So if you're gonna camp in a buggy place, you're pretty well protected. These roll up. So you've got a nice open vent on one side. And one thing that's interesting about this is that even though it is a single person tent, it has uh, two doors. So uh, if you really want to vent out, uh, you can put this side up too and get a nice cross breeze. That's the tent. Let's go inside. Okay. I am 5'8 on a good day and I've got plenty of headroom and uh, inches to spare at the feet. Sitting up, it's pretty good, not too bad. Uh, one cool thing about this is because there are two doors, that means there's two vestibule areas, so lots of places to uh, put 
you know, your bike packing bag, your panniers, your backpack, whatever. So you could put there or over there. Uh, at the ends here, you can see that uh, there, are hole, there are holes to add uh, more venting just so it, it'll help cut, cut down on condensation. And if you want, you can roll these guys up as well and hold them in place using uh, these little twisties here. So lots of options in terms of uh, ventilation or controlling the shade. So I think that's it for this little interior tour. Uh, I'm gonna show you the quick trick uh, that makes it more bike packing friendly. Uh, so let's do that now. You'll notice when it first came, it was fairly long, uh, not easy to stuff into a bag. And the main reason for that is because of these struts. This is what kind of helps create the ridge line. And one cool feature that they did for this year was they made these uh, struts removable so you can uh, pack the entire bag. You can pack the entire tent in the bag if that's what you want to do. So you can see there are these uh, little release buckles here. And with that undone, uh, these uh, carbon fiber poles just slip out. So again, just undo that little buckle. It's hard to do one-handed. Okay, so one set of struts. Let's go the other side. Undo the buckle there. The trick is, of course, to not lose the struts or break them. <laughs> okay, so now we've got uh, four struts, uh, the main arch pole, and two stakes to keep a hold of, or to keep track of. All right, so you can see uh, considerably smaller than we first started out. There's actually still room to compress this even more if you had a proper uh, compression bag. You do still have uh, the poles to negotiate and uh, they actually make a bag uh, that's meant to hold tent poles and meant to be mounted on your top tube or down tube. So good to combine with that or you can use some other pole bag and just kind of use uh, belay straps. Belay straps. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first look at this DW Moment uh, tent by Tarp Tent and kind of a sneak peek at the Crest Bikes and the Fabio's chest and the pec deck and all that stuff. We've got lots of cool bike nerdy reviews coming up on the channel. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this tent in the comments. Do you guys use a tarp tent, traditional tent, a tarp? If you guys have any other questions, leave those in the comments. And as always, keep the supple side down.